Hi everyone, I'd like to show you a very useful command on Linux and Unix systems called Screen. Uh, screen allows you to capture log output from your terminal environment, your, your uh, terminal window, as well it allows you to detach and reattach uh, later. Now I'll explain this and I'll do a demo of this shortly. So the first thing I'll show you is how to start Screen. Uh, all you have to do is type Screen and hit Enter, and you'll notice that uh, very little has changed. Um, I can still type any uh, shell commands and uh, command completion and all of those wonderful things continue to work as normal. Uh, what's interesting though is I can now turn on logging with control A and then shift H and you'll see that uh, a log file is being created called screenlog.0. If I was to type a command, for example pwd, um, maybe echo hi there, and uh, I'm going to turn off logging you'll see that now, if I look at screen log, screen log 0, there's my commands, just as I type them. So this is very handy in its own right. Where screen really comes into its own is that you can disconnect from, from screen. So I can type uh, control A and then D to detach, and you'll see that now I'm in my home directory. Uh, to get a listing of what screen sessions are available, you type screen-ls and now you'll see in this in this case I actually have three, uh, four different uh, screen sessions. The one that I just started was uh, process ID 12382 on this system. So I'm going to reconnect to it. Screen dash R for reconnect. The process ID. And there you go. So I'm going to go to slash etc in this, in this uh, screen session, this terminal. So you can see I'm in the etc directory. If I hit control A and then D to detach, I'm back in my home directory. And then if I just uh, use my uh, his command history uh, to go up to reattach again, you'll see I'm now in the etc directory again. So I essentially have two terminals in one. And then this is very handy because you might start something that's especially long-lived, um, and you might want to uh, disconnect from it and then reconnect to it later. Or uh, a very common use case where this uh, is extremely valuable is when you're operating over a, an unreliable network. So say, for example, you have a virtual private network connection over the internet and uh, you want to run a, a very long compile or a very long test cycle and um, uh, just in case you get disconnected, if you were to get disconnected without something li like screen, you m there's a high likelihood that you'll lose your terminal and you'll have, sh have to rerun the command, whereas if you use screen, um, you can simply reconnect after and uh, pick up where you left off. You can even capture the output uh, with the logging that, uh, that I showed you earlier. So um, the other neat thing is you can give names to your screen sessions. So for example, screen, I'm going to call my session um, demo. And so now I'm in the demo session. I'm going to disconnect. Uh, well, first I'll do this. This is a demo. I'm going to disconnect. <coughs> I'm going to type screen-ls just to see the listing of uh, screen windows I've got. So you see I have a demo one. I have testing, coding, compiling, and I have another one that I opened up when I, when I first started. So I'm going to go to the compiling one. Uh, actually, what I can do is type screen dash re uh, r for reconnect uh, compiling, and I'm in the, in the compiling one. And just to prove that, I'm going to echo so I can have a breadcrumb to come back and check it later. There we go. So I'm going to go back to the demo one, and you remember I left a little breadcrumb to show that that was the demo window. This is the demo. I'm going to go back to the compiling window, and I'm compiling in here. So you get the idea. I can switch back and forth very, very quickly uh, between terminal windows. Uh, so I might be editing the code in one window, uh, compiling in another, testing in another, and you know doing whatever else I need to do. If I have um, a command line email reader, I could do that, uh, IRC, etc., etc., etc. So uh, very, very useful. Um, I hope you find it useful as well, and uh, if you do find it useful, please visit our website. We have other useful videos at fosslc.org, F-O-S-S-L-C.org, O-R-G. Thank you.